Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and it is Becky Lynch, Big Time Bex. Um, so she is the trial character this week. You will get her at Five Star Bronze on your roster. You'll be able to test her out yourself. She is a modern era trickster. Coach ability, she's one of the four people that are supposed to make Dominic better. At 18k, moves that heal give 35% more health. And blue moves that deal damage will deal 35% more damage. So she is targeting Dominic's reversal move with her coach ability. Links, raw, any color move start with one more move point. The, once again, useless women superstar link. Can we just get rid of this? Um... Modern Era gems do 5% more damage, and just the one set of gear, but I feel like with this gimmick, she could probably have, like, 20 gears, and just make her OP as fuck, because of all the different looks she's served up in this gimmick. I've been informed that these are goats, because she calls herself the goat, which I don't agree with. Not the biggest Becky fan, but that is clever. I will give her props for that. So a couple different builds we're going to take a look at. The first we're going to look at is a three-star build. Sorry, I keep having to clear my throat, and I'd rather not do that into my headset. Um, so the first build we're going to take a look at is the finisher with double red. Finisher is the Bexploder Suplex 10 MP. Deal 156,091 damage. And choose a 7x2 area to swap into red gems. Please note... I have requested this preview at 5 star gold, even though there aren't 5 star gold road opponents, because quite frankly, I'm sick of doing the whole source trust me bro thing. Uh, so I figured I'll just get her at 5 star gold, we'll go against 5 silver opponents, we'll go against showboats with health pools, and maybe one day Scopely will listen to me and add 5 star gold female road opponents, but until then, I'ma just do this anyways. GET THAT CAT OUT OF THE WAY! Red 1, the inverted DDT, 6 MP, deal 67,822 damage and make 36 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 73,053 damage. If broken by you, deal 26,937 bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. So this is a move where, like, you want to break it, and pin them, and then they bleed out while they're trying to kick out, but they're breaking your trap gems, and they're dealing more damage to themselves over time. So, trap gems equal fun. Um, and red 2 is the diving leg drop 6 MP deal, 73,506 damage, and choose a 3 by 2 area to swap into purple gems. Entourage for this, we're going to go with Butch for more red MP, Jinder for three more trap gems, uh, Santa Hogan for just more flat gem damage, and I just have Tech Stacy on there for more red gem damage for the finisher. If you have um, Acro Dragon for an extra trap gem, that would be preferred. Any um, purple move damage coach or red move damage coach would be fine. Nothing really make or break in terms of a coach for her until they come out with one and the person wrong. But you can keep it super simple. For the belt, we're going full fury, purple percent, which I do have, finally. And we're going to go with a blue bomber plate. You could do blue bomber, you could do chaotic blast, you could do two words for you. Uh, the reason for this is because I want to try to break as many trap gems as possible to increase the bleed damage. So we have a chance to throw out some blast gems and then with the finisher we can choose to destroy one of those blast gems, get more trap gems, do more damage, etc. So let's see how this build goes. So ready to go on turn one. We'll hit the inverted DDT. I'm gonna put out 39 traps. In Feud, you'll get three more, so it'll be 42. It'll be almost the entire board. 
use the diving bike drop, make a 3x2 of purples. Now normally I'd go up towards the top of the board just to avoid a cascade, but I don't like where any of these purple gems are sitting, so I'm just going to go down here, break six traps, cause some bleed, blue bomber plate triggers, board shuffles without that heinous sound. We are going to do 283,000 damage on the finisher. We're going to choose a 7x2 to make into red gems, and we're going to target this blast gem just to break a couple more. Going to hit some trap gems on the way. And the bleed is going to start stacking. And as she matches the trap gems, she's going to damage herself further and then bleed out. So that is fun. Important to note that bleed... Um, Entourage will not affect the trap gems because they are an effect of. Uh, so Kyrie Sane and Striker Seth will not add more bleed damage to the traps. You will need a trap gem generator to get more trap gems out to do more damage. Um, you can't affect um, the result of the trap gem, unfortunately. You can only create more traps. Uh, so that's one of her builds. Let's switch focus and go take a look at her four star build. Second build we're going to take a look at is, yes, another super sub, and yes, another green super sub. Why they can't just pick another color is beyond me. I think maybe they want people to subscribe to Manager Pass so people can get Bruno. Um, don't quote me, that's just a guess. Uh, but it seems like all the super subs lately have been green. I know Rhonda's had two, but that's not the point. Anyways. Uh, so the four star build, we're going to do double green with purple two. Green one is the disarm her, seven MP submission, generate 16 random submission gems and do 111,554 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into cross break gems. And since I have her at five gold, we're going to do this now. Uh, we're going to do the sub math now in feuds. So we're going to run Trickster Brave for three extra turns. Shelton. Should probably switch. There we go. Uh, Trickster Brave, three extra turns. Shelton, extra 20%. Bruno, extra turn and 50%. Take into account the 200% from maxed defensive feud perks and the three extra turns. Becky will be doing about 4.5 million damage with this submission in feuds. So, yes, we did the math early, so we don't have to do it at the end and speculate and wait for the portal to update. This is kind of why I wanted 5-star gold females anyways, just so I can have all the information at once. Um, but plus the 270% for 11 turns is about 4.5 million damage. So that's how that's going to look in feud. Uh, we're also going to run Woods to get going on turn one, but let's look at the other two moves first. Uh, green two is the Manhandle Slam, 7 MP. Deal 83,822 damage and make 36 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 73,053 damage. If broken by you, destroy six random cross break gems. So again, you pin the opponent, they break the traps, and they hurt themselves. Um, the submission leaves behind cross breaks. So in this gameplay video, because we're not going to be doing enough um, submission damage to pin and keep the opponent down, uh, we are going to have the opponent you know, kick out of the sub because we don't have the feud perks active. Uh, but what we will do is use the sub first and then put out the traps. And I did test. It didn't override um, the cross breaks, so we'll see. Fingers crossed. Um, and purple two is the missile dropkick 7 MP. Deal 81,349 damage and choose seven gems to make into green gems. So, as always, gonna run this build twice. Gonna look at the super sub first, and then we're going to look at a damage setup afterwards. So, like I said earlier, Woods, Trickster Bray, Acro Shelton, and Bruno. If you don't have Bruno... You can use Acro J, you'll lose a turn, and you'll lose about 40% damage on the sub, but it'll still be effective. We're going to keep with the full Fury. I didn't bother switching the move metal out. 
Um, but I did bring in an all heart plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. So she is a trickster. It's a green submission. Perfect. Let's see how it does. So this is ready to go. We only need a three match because of our tour perks. We have the... Come on. Uh, matching all color gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point. So... They're all 7 MP moves. We just need to make one three match of green. Ta-da! Go there just to kind of reduce our risk of a cascade. Random submission. So eight turns without the tour perk, uh, without the feud perks. Remember that the defensive feud perks will add three more turns. Now the manhandle slam, uh, going to put out 36 random traps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, so we should, we shouldn't override any of our cross breaks. Also, for the love of God, can we change the camera angle on that move? Because that hurts. That hurts the old eyes. Um, we really only need to break, like, one trap gem. To be completely honest. Uh, purple gems are up to 26. Just about 27,000. Uh, green gems up to 18. Because breaking one trap gem is going to break six cross breaks. So let's just... Blap. Et voila! Of course, in feuds, you probably won't need to hit another move after the submission. Uh, but if we're going to do a gem damage build, which I will show you now, we're going to change up the entourage a little bit and see if we can get that manhandle slam uh, to hit a little harder for us. Alright, so now we are running the same move set but with a slightly different build we have taken out the super sub entourage and we've brought in gem damage so we're keeping woods to get going on turn one we've brought in slick rick for an extra 20 percent to all of our gems lacy for 20 percent to our purple and green and brought in champa to reduce the submission by two turns reason being we want to leave the cross breaks on the board uh because we're going to explode them um, and taking a look at our preliminary gem damage before the all heart play, we got 20k on the purples and just about 14k on the greens. Actually, let's, let's cover up her, her colors a little bit here. then hit the disarmer so now it's only two turns The all heart plate has applied, so we're up to 31,000 on the purples and 21,000 on the greens. We'll hit the manhandle slam. Is it necessary? Probably not because we had a swipe here. Whatever, we're gonna do it anyways. Hit her for 900k. I almost feel like the trap move isn't necessary. 
almost feel like it's not necessary, especially if you're going to reduce the number of subs and leave the cross breaks. You're going to have a better chance of swiping into that. Because you're going to explode the board and break all of your traps anyways. Um, but worth a look. Let's, um, let's go take a peek at something else real quick. And by that, I mean, let's run this moveset again, but we'll try something different just to see what happens here. Um, again, I want to take away her yellows because I'm like that. So I'm going to hit the trap move first. Because if she breaks the trap gem, she's going to deal damage to herself. Never going to put her in the submission. See how much of a difference that makes? Probably not a lot. I mean, we're putting out 36 and then 16, but there's only 49 gems on the board, so. And it overrides some of the traps anyways, but let's just see. Yeah, you can see her kind of slowly hurting herself. Maybe if we made that a super sub, and did the trap gems first and see if we can get her to, like, completely knock her health out. While trying to kick out of an eight turn sub. That could be... That could be better. That could be better. Um, all heart plate has still applied, so we're just gonna go like that. That should be... Yeah, that should be done. Now the wheels are starting to turn for me. I think I'm going to run that super sub build one more time. And then put the traps out first and see what happens. Yeah, let's do that real quick. And then I promise we'll move on. Okay, so let's try this. I put back Bruno and Trickster Day. I didn't bother putting Shelton back. Um, but let's try... The trap gems first. So 36 random trap gems. She's gonna do just short of 80,000 damage to herself when she matches them. Which with a 5 star gold health pool probably won't be massive but in a feud. With all the defensive perks, that could be the difference in making sure the health is completely drained on turn one or not. But we'll give her eight turns and see how many traps she breaks. Yeah, you can see it's starting to just... Okay, so it definitely helps. So that's another way to go about it. That's another way to go about it. If you want to help guarantee yourself the full drain, just throw the traps out, let them hurt themselves, and then disarm them. Okay, let's take a look at a fun tricolor build. The last thing I wanted to take a look at is when I said fun tricolor build, I basically meant let's run all the trap moves together and see what breaks. Um, so we're going to run the inverted DDT, which is red one, the manhandle slam, which is green two, and the missile drop kick, which is purple two. Um, and we're just going to gem damage, more trap gems, woods to get going on turn one. I've brought in an aftershock plate so we can make sure both of the trap moves are loaded with the missile drop kick. And I just, I just want to see some chaos. Okay. It's been a week in WWE Champions, and it's only Wednesday, so I just want to see some chaos. Let's, let's have some chaos. So, one green match will charge the manhandle slam. Oh, and that's 6 MP. Okay, we only need one green match. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Ah! Okay. Sound... Sound blip. We good? We good? Again, just gonna... Cover up her... 
yellow gems because I'm like that. Why you no work? Hello? Man, chaos and a slow emulator? Let's get it. This is where you get a plate where it's like, whenever you generate 20 or more trap gems, increase your whatever damage by whatever percent. And then everyone puts it on Hall of Fame China. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. That was underwhelming. That was very underwhelming. <laughs> womp womp. I wanted to see something crazy happen. I realize I have no cross breaks on the board to break with the green trap move before everyone decides to at me. Um, I realize that. I'm just wondering what would break. That's all. That is all. No breaking here, apparently. But we'll just let her slowly bleed out, I guess. Well. That went about as well as I expected. Which was not well at all. And that's why they call it a preview. Okay, so don't run the double traps. Nothing fun happens when you run the double traps. It's not like Hall of Fame China where just everything explodes when it's not supposed to. But now we know. Let's go ahead and uh, conclude the preview. And there's one moveset I'm not going to show, but I do want to talk about. So that wraps up my five-star gold preview of Becky Lynch Big Time Bex. I do want to take a look at her five star move which we did not use in the preview uh, but purple three is a leg lariat 5 MP. Deal 90,000 9 damage and steal up to 4 MP from each of your opponent's green moves. Um, so we've seen some women come out lately with green moves uh, that are ready to go turn one in feud think Alundra, think Molly Holly. Um, so that could be an alternate way to charge up your super sub build, if that's the build you decide to go with. Uh, we just use woods to get going on turn one, and then you'll steal, you know, if they have two green moves, you'll steal enough MP. Maybe even live, depending on how she's being run. Uh, but that could be a good way to counter them in feuds. So anyways, that is the preview. Again, she's one of the four that is supposed to make Dominic better. Again, I am waiting until all four characters come out to do my Dominic preview because I want to see how everything looks together and then that way I can mix and match. Uh, but thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, she is a trial character. You get to play her at five star bronze for free for a couple days. Let me know what builds you're liking. Let me know what combinations you're coming up with. Let me know how you feel about getting a fifth Becky Lynch um, instead of a first Tamina. I'm not salty. Maybe just a little. Uh, but anyways, thank you again for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.